Night Shift. Who loves Night Shift? When all the ghosts and the monsters come out and you get to be there. So, we well, start off on Night Shift as a new grad, as a respiratory therapist. Um, the sad answer is yes, most likely. There are a few instances. Um, some of this may include if you decide to work in PFT, pulmonary rehab, home care, or if you decide to work at a hospital where they just have a lot of staffing needs and they're willing to fill wherever. They just want to get staff wherever they can take it. But most likely you are going to have to work night shift for about a year or two. Um, now I've worked night shift for about two years, a little, a little over, about two and a half. And I can honestly say it's not terrible. I think most new grads should start off on night shift because day shift is a whole lot busier. All the doctors are there. All the patients are awake. Everyone's calling. That's when they're doing all transports. It's crazy. And sometimes as a new grad, you just want to slow down a little bit. So at night, a lot of your patients are sleeping. Um, you don't really have to worry about them too much. A lot of times it's just BiPAPs, CPAPs, PRNs, a couple Q4s, Q6s. Um, obviously, if you're in the ICU, you have to do your vent checks and all that other stuff. However, most times throughout the night, um, they like to keep the patients nice and sedated so they're not awake. That way they're not all over the bed. They're not trying to get out of the bed with the tube in, with the ventilator going, all that other crazy stuff. So I highly suggest that you do start on nights for like a year or two. I know most of you don't want to hear that. Most of you are thinking right now, come on, are you serious? Like, I worked night shift all throughout school and now they want me to work it again for another two years. So stating that, you will probably be on a night shift for about a year or two, um, sometimes even longer than that. It all depends on your hospital and the staff. So are people retiring? Are staff moving to other hospitals? Are they opening up new positions? What's going on? So this is the main factor in as to whether or not you will get day shift. So if someone on day shift leaves, then you can most likely fill that spot. So one thing that I strongly suggest is as soon as you get that position, as soon as you get that night shift position, go ahead and let the manager know that you want to become a day shift therapist at some point, as soon as possible, most likely. So I would have this talk sooner rather than later, like I said, um, because if you don't tell them, how do they know you want day shift? Maybe they think you enjoy night shift, because we all know there are some crazy people out there who do enjoy night shift. So, like I said, I've been on night shift for about two years now. Not terrible. I strongly suggest it for new grads. Well, anyway, uh, if you have any questions about night shift, I do have a few videos about a day in the life. Um, I work at a trauma center, uh, in the ER, I'm in the ICUs, I do all kinds of stuff. I go over it all in most of my videos. Highly suggest you check those out. If you have any other questions regarding anything, make sure you leave in the comments below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.